So guys, we're going to be changing out the oil cooler core on a Detroit 60. So I got a 8 millimeter 12 point socket. I'm going to break the torque on the circumference. Speed them all out with my drill. We didn't, excuse me, we didn't have a change schedule for these. Um, so several of these have been on here for a long time. Um, some of these engines have 300, excuse me, 30,000 hours on them. Uh, which would be an equivalent to 2 million miles or so, or more. Um, anyway, now once all the bolts are out, crack the case apart. Um, I'm using a pick to pull out the cooler. Looks pretty gross. I'm going to go ahead and Cut away the gasket. So I've implemented a 15,000 hour change schedule for these. That's approximately 90,000 hours, or excuse me, 900,000 miles. The wire that was down there on the coolant side. Uh, the way we have, these are all running generators. We have them all hooked up. Uh, six engines to a common radiator system. So anytime we get oil in the coolant, we're not quite sure where it's coming from as far as which engine. Uh, so that's why I'm implementing the chain schedule. So clean the two halves really well, get all the old gasket off. I took these over to the part washer after I got the gasket off and scrubbed them up and made them look pretty. Really need to get a hot part washer, hot parts washer in there so I can just throw them in there and then we could, you know, even put some nice new paint on them. That'd be crazy. Get all the gasket to O ring surfaces cleaned out. Yeah, got the new cooler. Of course, it didn't come with a gasket. Uh, had to go digging through all the parts. So you're going to sandwich that with two gaskets. One gasket's going to go on the water side, then the core, and then another gasket on the oil side. Kind of using some screws to align everything. Make sure you clean the threads of those screws real good. I'm just using a wire wheel. Okay, again, um, two gaskets sandwiching. Make sure you get your O-rings on the inside of the um, oil filter adapter. That's what's going to seal the inside so you don't have oil bypassing into the coolant. So do not forget those two orange o-rings. Go ahead and get everything bolted back on. Finger tight everything at first. Excuse me. Of course, we're going to tighten in a starburst pattern. And then torquing the 25 foot pounds again in that starburst pattern. So 
go around and do the initial torque. And now here we're working on the final torque, of course, marking each bolt. And then I'm putting a note on there from when I changed the core uh, for the date. I'll mark the hours on it. Uh, tomorrow I will have to verify the hours. Of course, we have all the hours and change to stuff all in a spreadsheet per engine. Well, now it's ready to go. It'll get new gaskets on the back side, of course, before it's bolted onto the block. Have a good one, guys.